Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use QLM. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to configure the QLM application to connect to a QLM license server. The QLM application displays its data by connecting to a remote QLM license server. To configure the connection to the QLM license server, create a profile by clicking on the plus button then fill in the fields as follows. URL. The URL to the QLM license server is typically of this form. Database. Select Microsoft SQL Server. Database schema. When a new version of QLM is released, the QLM database schema may require updating. This button verifies and updates your DB schema as required. Path to Products file. The products you define in QLM are initially stored locally on your computer. Once you're satisfied with your product definition, your products need to be uploaded to the QLM database. QLM automatically detects if your products are out of sync with the server and prompts you to either upload or download products from the server. If you want to force an update, Click on the appropriate button in this section. Use this feature with caution, as you may inadvertently override the QLM database with the wrong products or vice versa. Encryption keys. Communication between a client and a QLM license server is protected by an encryption mechanism that prevents malicious hackers from directly calling your license server. The Server Properties tab contains all the settings that control the behavior of the QLM license server when performing various operations, such as creating, activating, or validating license keys. Test. Once you have configured all fields, click on the Test button to validate that you can properly connect to the QLM license server. Errors detected in the QLM license server are stored in the QLM database. To view these events, click on the Event Log button. At times, you may want to increase the verbosity of the messages that the QLM license server logs. This can be accomplished by updating the logging level setting in the Advanced tab. If you increase the logging level to diagnose a special issue, remember to set it back to Warning to avoid bloating of your QLM database. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.